Why was now the time for you to decide to retire? You know, I think now is a good time because I think things are going well. Uh, we've got a solid hiring plan. Uh, we have some good programs in place. And on a personal level, um, it, it's a good time for me to leave. One of the strong rumors that we've heard is that you may have interest in going over and serving at the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Is that something that you might do? I've heard that rumor, too. So um, that's a... Uh, decision um, if that option is on the table down down the line that I'll talk to my boss my wife about and we'll see but I haven't made any decisions this is a city that continues to grow and we see the crime trends kind of reflecting that uh, violent crime on the rise what do you think are some of the factors that are leading to that I think uh, Colorado Springs is, is becoming a big city of a half a million and I think uh, while we still keep the, that small town culture in a lot of areas, there are some big issues we need to deal with. Is there someone that you would like to see be the next police chief here in Colorado Springs? I think one of my biggest responsibilities as police chief is to make sure uh, there's, uh, there's people in-house that are ready to step up and accept that challenge. I feel comfortable we would have some very, very good candidates to be the next police chief. After all those years, what do you think the public maybe doesn't understand about being a police officer and kind of what goes through a career of a police officer? You know, I think uh, every police officer in the course of 10 or 20 or 30 years goes through different phases of how he or she relates to what it's like being a cop. I think when we come on, uh, we're young and uh, we think we're going to save the world and uh, we, we take a lot of risk and things like that. And as we develop um, kind of what um, it means to be a police officer, we realize that it is customer service. It is serving people and things like that. So it takes a long time to to kind of figure that out as a police officer. I think that um, this community um, is very, very uh, um, proud of their police department. They trust us, and I think that relationship is really good. What would you say is the accomplishment you're the most proud of under your leadership here at the department? I think the culture of the Colorado Springs Police Department um, is, is something I inherited um, as, a, as a good, trusting place to work. Um, and I think that uh, we do everything we can to serve people, and I, I think I'm most proud of that, that uh, your average Colorado Springs police officer um, is in it for the right reasons, and they're trying to help people um, when they need it the most, and uh, I'm probably most proud of that. we got some great proactive programs uh, that we've started in the last few years, too. Our, our volunteer program, our CAPS uh, program, is something that's done a, just a remarkable job. Our community service officer program is something, too, that I think people put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in. Um, I got involved a couple years ago with our uh, Youth Advisory uh, Council for Law Enforcement. We take a couple kids from each high school and we sit down with them once a month and try to help, uh, help them figure out what they need as far as young men and women of the community uh, to be safe, to have a better relationship with police officers. I mean, things like that I could go on and on. So it's that front-end investment in our community, not just responding to the calls for service that I'm most proud of. I think that's our culture. Coming up through the ranks, what are some things that you learned? <laughs> I, um, what I learned being a police chief in the last six or seven years is it is extremely difficult navigating the politics and uh, trying to figure out uh, what all the reasons in the room are uh, when we make decisions and things like that. Um, and I think that uh, there are certain media issues that took me a while to figure out. Um, while the media here uh, plays a huge role in law enforcement and uh, even the watchdog effect. It took a while to, to figure out that role and, uh, and work in a way that's productive for the media and our police department. How do you handle officer safety and how do you feel that kind of grew under your, your watch? So frankly, police work is dangerous work and it was when I came on in 1982. Uh, police officer assassinations back in those days were uh, very high too. Um, and it comes down to uh, developing a respectful way to deliver police services, uh, having a uh, trusting relationship with your community, but it also involves uh, solid tactics and training and uh, equipment. Uh, the drive that we had in our community in the last few years regarding get, getting our police officers Shield 616 gear uh, for long gun protection and things like that. So it's constantly evolving, um, but it's something that involves not only trust and respect, uh, but good training and good tactics for our cops. And um, it's always been dangerous work, and frankly, it's still very, very dangerous work. How is marijuana and the legalization here in Colorado, how does that change the job? It's changed the job dramatically in the last uh, number of years, and it's made it that much tougher for police officers in three areas, our schools, our streets, and our kids. And it's tough. Um, and uh, it, it is a challenge for, uh, for the police department because along with marijuana, we're still dealing with our alcohol issues, our opioid issues, our cocaine and, and methamphetamine issues. So it has made it that much tougher, and it's a challenge. 
at this point, do you think your career in law enforcement's over? I don't know. Um, I'm very, very proud of what I've done. Um, I, I like um, being a police officer, um, so I think that that possibility stays open. How do you feel about that? I mean, I, it's got to be a grueling, uh, long, several decades in this in this career. I mean, what still drives you that would keep you going in, in this law enforcement career? I was blessed early on in my life to find out what I wanted to do for a living, and that was to be a cop. Um, and I wasn't destined to be a police chief, uh, but a, a cop. And to be able to help people when they need it the most uh, means a lot to me. Um, it means a lot to family members that are now police officers um, in my family. And um, I, I think it's been an honor to do that. So um, while it has its ups and downs and there's a lot of wear and tear being a, a police officer, especially in these days, I, I couldn't imagine doing anything else other than that for the last 35 years. Like you said, there's going to be new folks coming on the force. There's across the nation a push to try to recruit the next generation of police officers. Knowing what you know now, if it was your first day on the job, would you approach it any differently? How do you think you'd feel about this profession? I think that uh, as you come on as a police officer, your mindset changes over the years. That first five years is different than the next 10 or 15 years or so, but I think that the best advice I'd give a cop is uh, to do it with compassion, uh, to do police work with common sense, maybe a little bit of a sense of humor. Um, if I was gonna give advice to the next Colorado Springs police chief, I'd say get some rest because uh, you're going uh, to have a lot to do, but I think those, those things still fit for a police chief too. Common sense goes a long way and um, a little bit of compassion and being able to laugh at yourself every once in a while too. How would you sum up Colorado Springs public safety? Do you feel like this is a safe city? How, how would you sum it up? I believe that Colorado Springs is an extremely safe city and I think that as police officers we're blessed to have the support of the community and uh, every time we've asked the community to step up, they have for us, be it the SHIELD 616 program. And I can tell you that our firefighters, our cops, uh, we step up for the community too, so I couldn't think of a better place to be a police officer. Is there anything that you want the public to know? What's your message to them? Um, I want to thank them um, for uh, the support uh, they've given me over the last 35 or 36 years. It's been an honor uh, to serve them as a police officer and their police chief. I'm going to miss them.